Hey guys, Jesse from PS4Daily.com here, and today on PSN Weekly, we're taking a look at Retro City Rampage Deluxe Edition. So Retro City Rampage is a very interesting game. Uh, that can be a good thing and a bad thing, depending on what kind of gamer you are. So let's go over what exactly this game is. Retro City Rampage is an homage to a lot of things, a lot of things including a bunch of pop culture references. Uh, the most of which includes uh, Grand Theft Auto, their earlier titles, so Grand Theft Auto 1 and Grand Theft Auto 2. This brings everything together in a top-down uh, uh, top gameplay style, so you can do everything that you could in Grand Theft Auto, everything you, you would expect out of the classic Grand Theft Auto series. That includes stealing cars, shooting people, going on killing sprees, getting, getting caught by the cops, uh, escalating your wanted meter, to uh, go after different levels of cops up until I think there's an army in there as well. And this is all fine and dandy, but I think it. I think the game itself doesn't really have an identity. Now, like I just said, it's an homage to a lot of things. Some of these things include Back to the Future, uh, uh, the recent Batman movie, or no, not the recent one, but Batman. Uh, the Dark Knight Returns, I believe it's called, or is it just The Dark Knight? Whichever one had Heath Ledger, I honestly cannot remember right now. But yeah, it has a lot of these elements. It has a lot of. It harkens back to so many things, and I think it really gets lost in that, in that, uh, in that element, I guess. And it's a shame because somewhere underneath all of the all those homages and all those references is a decent game I would say. I can't call this a great game, but it's a decent game. I enjoyed playing it for a short burst of time, but I couldn't I couldn't convince myself. I couldn't I had to force myself to play this for anything longer than fifteen to twenty minutes, which is which kinda does suck. But because this is a cross buy title I get, across PS3, PS Vita, PlayStation TV, and PS4, that's not too much of a problem. It's easy to go from playing on the PS4 or PS3 to cross-saving, yes this game does have cross-saving, yes that's a very good thing, over to the P PlayStation TV or the PS Vita version, pick up right where you left off. In that regard, Retro City Rampage is fantastic. As you guys know, I love, love, love cross-save games. cross buy games are good, but if you have cross-save in there, then you're fantastic. In that regard, Retro City Rampage is fantastic, but I believe that it does fall short with the story because there are just too many homages that the game doesn't really make you feel that there's anything else besides those homages, and it really bothers me, especially as someone who loves, loves, loves stories. I love getting to know the characters, I love getting, uh, I love having extra reason to keep playing. There was none of that in Retro City Rampage, I mean, it was like, oh hey, it's cool, it's a Joker, ha ha ha. Oh cool, it's, uh, it's Doc Chalk, aka Doc Brown, ha ha ha. Oh hey, it's a car from Back to the Future, ha ha ha. Oh look, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, the, the, the kids from Saved by the Bell. Yay, did someone just kill somebody? Oh, um, that's cool too. I Beyond that, there's really not much else in there. I mean, there's a story, but it's all held up by these... Tr these, these it's, it's really self-aware of what it's doing. I guess that kind of adds to the humor uh, of the game, but I would still like to see more in there. It would be better if the... If the... Uh, if the homages were used as a backdrop to the game's main story, whatever that would have been if these homages were used in that fashion sense. Instead, instead they're used as the central focus. They're what they, The game is built up in a way that the homages have to carry the game through its story. That really, really bothers me. Now, story complaints aside, the gameplay is a lot of fun. Uh, you can drive... A numerous amount of cars and originally I was gonna say that, say that the cars didn't really feel different but then I kind of started experimenting with golf carts and more of the sporty type of cars and some of the trucks and I came to find that these cars really do control differently and better yet there are different ways to control the cars you can either use uh, 
They can use a really frustrating style that reminded me of one of those driving games uh, they used to play at the mall in those like little uh, little toy like the the uh, kind of like the arcade section where like you had the wheel and you were driving like a dump truck or something like that and the wheel would spin in a full 360 degrees and it was really really difficult to control. It's the same way in here and I hated it so I went to the options, changed the controls around and instead of use instead of that really wonky control style. I just use the left analog stick or the left D-pad. You can you can use any one of those to control the uh, to control the player as he's called to uh, go forward and back and just kind of move in three, 360 degrees and it's really fast and it's really fluid and it really helps uh, when you're trying to mow down citizens or escape from the cops. Uh, there are also a lot of games again in GTA fashion or sorry not a lot of games but I mean there are those but. There are a lot of guns again in GTA fashion, which is really cool. Uh, I love the I love toying around with the with the grenades, especially when I was getting cornered by some of the cops or some of the military personnel. I love like getting behind cover and then lobbing grenades over cover and seeing them explode. And that's always fun. Uh, speaking of explosions, uh, this is like a 8-bit game or 16-bit game, one of the two. So it has a chip tune soundtrack. So the, the the soundtrack in general, it's uh it's pretty good. Although, uh, some, some of the sound effects do get annoying after a while. Uh, if you're killing a lot of people or uh, like running over some things every so often, like, uh, like in su succession, you'll have these ting, 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 ting noises. And alone, it's not too bad, but one after the other after the other, it gets really annoying after a while. So be wary of that. Um, otherwise, Retro City Rampage Deluxe Edition has... The main quest you can do, or you can even do some side quests here and there. And the side quests are there. Again, we're gonna run back to the homage, but I did kind of find the side quests more to be more interesting than the main quest line, uh, just because they were kind of funnier and they offered a little bit more variation. Uh, beyond that, that's pretty much all I have to say about Retro City Rampage. Remember, it's cross buy, cross PS3, PS4, PS TV, and PS Vita. It also has cross save across all those platforms, so double the points for this game. But whether or not I can recommend this, I really can't say. This is one of those titles where I kind of struggle to say yes, but at the same time, I don't want to say. Or I kind of struggle to say no, but at the same time, I want to say yes. It really depends on what kind of gamer you are. If you're somebody who really appreciates the humor found in making a lot of references to, to things of the past, then this is. By all means, buy this game. This is the game for you. This game is references the game. I think that would have been a more accurate title than Retro City Rampage Deluxe Edition. But uh, otherwise, if you're not that kind of person, if then this prob you, you probably won't find too much fun in this game. Um, one more other thing I want to address is the fact that this is the Deluxe, ed deluxe Edition. And uh, when you boot up the Deluxe Edition, if you upgrade it from the from the standard edition, you do get to keep all of your saves. So that's really cool. I like that. But uh, deluxe edition has a includes all the updates. I think there were over 100 from the original edition, and includes some other things. There are UI tweaks. Uh, trophies have been trophies have been uh, tweaked. Uh, new trophies in there. They're not as difficult. Challenges aren't as difficult. So there's these these little thi or these big things and then there are the littler things the things that you're not going to notice unless you have a spreadsheet in front of you which I kind of do but I'm not going to read off from that or if you have something to refer to or if you're looking at the games from uh, side by side you're not really going to notice these things so yeah that's really I mean the deluxe edition really isn't all that deluxe I would say but yeah um by all means if you guys need any help deciding on this purchase remember there's always share play so if you guys want to feel free to add me on PSN J the, my PSN ID is J E S S Z M A N add me on PSN and I'll share play the game with you guys so you guys can make a more informed decision anyway I'm Jesse for with ps4daily.com and I'll see you guys later